Hey guys, so we're in the process of hooking up this direct current generator to my 48 volt backup system. So what this does is, instead of using an inverter to charge your off-grid system, you can use a direct current generator that's going to put the power directly into your batteries. So this is specifically for a 48 volt system. As you can see right here, it goes from 48 to 54. So the first test I did, that was in auto mode. So if you come over here, you see this switch? It says auto. When your battery gets to 48, it will charge it back up to 54. So that's auto. Now I'm going to use the inverter to control the uh, starting and stopping of the generator. So my setup, I have it set to 40%. Once my battery gets to 40%, it will automatically start the generator and recharge the batteries. So let's hook everything up and see how that works. I want to show you that it can be start by the inverter. The inverter I'm using is this setup right here. It's the EG4 12X, 12,000 XP. And I have two 48 volt, the 280 batteries. So let's hook it up and see if this will uh, charge my batteries. I already have the uh, communication cable hooked up. I'm gonna use, so uh, when you hook this up, make sure you hook this up first. So get your generator cables hooked up, keep it in the off position, then hook up your uh, battery cables. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the battery hooked up. As you can see, we have the positive, negative. We're showing our battery voltage, 53.2. Now remember, this generator uses your backup battery to start. So all its power is coming from these cables right here. So this, it does not have an internal battery. It uses your external battery. We have our communication cable. So this is the cable that's gonna start it from the inverter. Let's turn the inverter on. Let's get this down to 40% and see when it, if it starts, if it works like this. So I do have my switch to manual the last one we did was on auto we're going to do this one on manual so it's going to take, get its power from here it's going to get its uh, communication from here the battery is at 44% we need to get to 40% to start so let's start drawing some power so just to uh, go over so we got our battery connected the controller right here we're in manual mode and over here we have it set to start so once it gets to 40% it should get the signal and that should start the generator give it a few minutes to warm up then it should start in introducing load we'll see exactly how much it puts out I think it's probably gonna jump all the way up to 70 we'll see what it does The reason a generator like that would be needed is in most cases where there's no sun, no other form of input, you could use your generator to recharge your battery. So you see right now I got the solar turned off, I have the grid shut down. So that would be like in a hurricane when you have no other form of, no sun, no wind. You just have your generator and it would just recharge your battery. If I was to run this, I wouldn't have my generator right in front of my garage door. This is just a test. I'm just going to run this for like two to three minutes before I shut it down. So usually I'll be 10 feet away. And so don't think that's where it's going to be running. Uh, you should have your generator all the way outside, at least, at least 10 feet away from uh, any opening. I'm just going to make sure it comes on, then I'm going to shut it off. All right guys, we're at 41%, so I'm expecting something should happen at 40, or maybe 39. I think last time it went to 39 before it really started. So um, we'll see if it goes starts at 40 or if it starts at 39 to send the signal to the generator. I think last time I did this, it started at 39. So we'll see. Hopefully I can catch it. 
So we're gonna be seeing right here, this side's pulling 11 amps. That's battery one. You can see number one right here. Discharge, 11 amps. Battery two, discharging 9.5 amps. So this one's already at 40, this one's at 42. So let's see what happens. We're gonna see the the amps go from negative to positive once we start charging. So we're pulling 8.6 amps and 6.2 on this side. Oh, so we don't, we just went down to 40 and I didn't get the signal. So I guess it's gonna wait till it goes to 39 before it sends the signal. Just like it did last time, I think it was one lower. So if you set it for 40, it will come on at 39. All right, there you go, guys. Generator started. So it's gonna let it warm up for a little bit. See, it's not pulling any amps. It's gonna let it warm up. If we come over here, turn our battery on. See, it went to uh, 39% and it started right up. We're still discharging. It's gonna warm up before this turn to charging. So we use this wire right here to send a signal. Charging. 27.6 This one's charging at 28.1 So it's being shared All right guys, I went ahead and turned it off so we can uh, go over what we did. So as you can see, this is your dry contacts. Once the generator got to 39%, dry contact relay came on. Since it's in manual, it will automatically start. If I was to put it in auto, it would wait till it gets to 48 volts and then automatically start. You just keep your gas on and your generator will auto start and auto stop. So there you have it guys. So if you're looking for a DC generator with auto start stop feature, check this one out. It's the KS 48 volt, special for 48 volts, direct current generator. I do have this one in stock, ready to ship. So if you're looking for something like this, check out the website. I'll put the link down in the description. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you can Help this help the channel grow and help the video spread so more people can check this out. Guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.